Well, let's have a declaration that we would like the wind to stop and we would like the temperatures <laughs> to stay nice and warm. The sun was mm -hmm. out today. That felt good, Astrid. Yeah, it was lovely. Temperatures reaching into about 20, 21 degrees to the capital region. We're going to see some more sunshine tomorrow. Hopefully similar temperatures. Just a few clouds on the way over night tonight, much like what we're seeing right now. Lows around 10 degrees through downtown Victoria. Tomorrow, a high of 19. So we're right where we want to be chance that we might see a sprinkle after midnight, but by tomorrow morning, a mix of sun and clouds on the way. Our record was set in 2002 at 29.6 degrees. Here's a look at the temperatures right now with your live weather sensors and to Parksville we go. 19.9 .9 degrees right now at Ocean Trails there and the Tidemark Theater in Campbell River at 17.8. So lovely really north to south on the island at this hour. We've seen the clouds clear a bit throughout the day as this ridge has held steady. You can see how all that rain through the Kootenai areas have uh, really soaked the region, so up to 60 millimeters of rain is expected to fall through the Kootenays by tomorrow morning. Really wet there. We're watching another trough that's been over the Haida Gwaii area. It's coming our way, and that's going to start to change things up for us by about tomorrow evening for many parts of Vancouver Island. So enjoy the nice day that we have tomorrow and the mild temperatures tonight before things start to change up. Slight chance of some rain after midnight through Port Hardy. 10 degrees all the way along the east coast of the island tonight. We may notice some winds along the west coast through the Tofino area, mainly dry, overcast for the most part, but a few breaks in the clouds through Tofino. You could see a little bit of rain through the Nanaimo area again after midnight, that sprinkle right before morning. For the South Island, we too could have a little bit of rain overnight tonight, but not a lot. Anywhere between about 7 and 10 degrees for the South Island towards Salt Spring. By tomorrow afternoon, a forecast high of around 19 degrees through the Victoria area. So lovely with that mix of sun and clouds. Wind is expected to die down for tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds on the way for the Duncan area. 18 degrees for you, 17 over to Salt Spring and 19 up near Crofton Chimena. So a lovely day there. Our UV index is seven or high for tomorrow. So if you're outdoors, be aware of that. Mainly overcast with a few breaks through the Nanaimo area at 18 degrees, a little warmer through Ladysmith onto the west coast. And we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds for most of the day. You could see a little bit of rain later in the day as this next system comes our way. It'll hit the west coast on the North Island first. Port Alberni mix of sun and clouds for you at 18 for the Courtney Comox Campbell River areas, mainly overcast, but a few breaks throughout the day. And as we head on up to the north end of Vancouver Island, uh, you could see those showers off and on throughout the day at 13 degrees through Port Hardy. The rest of BC for tomorrow. Vancouver's got a pretty nice day on the way. Much of the same for uh, the Powell River area. Mix of sun and clouds. Still expecting a lot of rain around the Cranbrook area. 17 degrees, but that should taper off as the day goes on. Over the next seven days, here's what you need to know as we look towards Canada Day. Pretty nice conditions for Victoria. We'll see temperatures get up to about 20 degrees on Sunday. For the mid island, you too start to see a pretty nice Canada Day shaping up. 22 degrees on Sunday, 21 on Monday. So enjoy those uh, nice sunny days with just a few clouds as they come. And for the north end of the island, you've got some periods of rain on the way to round out this work week, but dry for Canada Day. So that's going to be our reward for getting through.